So when they pass over, know that they're around you and that they are there with you. So just visualize them. They're on a higher level of consciousness. They're just a thought away. They're with us, we can't touch and stroke them like this, but we can talk to them and we can, it'll help you through your grief if you know that that animal hasn't gone anywhere. It's just the physical body that has died. There is death, there is no separation. Then after our animals have left their physical body, we come to think, is it better to have them cremated or is it better to bury them? And this is a personal choice. But do know, because often when I'm talking to animals in the spirit world, they're laughing because they say, why is she sleeping with that little box, which I'm supposed to be in, when I'm lying on the bed with her? They find that very amusing, the animals, when we do things like that. I had one of my clients, very sweet man, and he lived with his cat, adored his cat. They had this incredible relationship. The cat and him were close, he lived alone. And that was his life, his cat. So when the time came, he decided that he would, the cat, he had the cat euthanized and he brought the body home. And he couldn't part with putting it in the ground. He was going to bury the cat, but he couldn't do it. So he put it in his deep freeze. And he said, I came home and all the electricity had been off. I'd been away for a week and I went into the freezer. That was my first fear, my cat. He said, and I'm horrified at how she looked. I said, well, darling, if you'd have been in the freezer for that length of time and it deep frosted, you'd have looked pretty awful too. And I said, your cat is here, Hugo is here, and he's laughing. And then Hugo started to tell me all the details about what his dad did after that. And he was, I told him, Hugo is telling me that you just didn't know what to do. He's, and he's telling me that in the end you just wrapped him up in a blue blanket, blue, and that you buried him in the garden and you planted a rose on the garden and you said a prayer and you've lit candles. And he said, Sonia, that's exactly what I did. And then suddenly he began to see that Hugo found it was very amusing because Hugo was talking to me he was telling me he'd just bought a pair of brand new shoes and what they were like. And his dad said, Sonia, I hung on to him so long. You've given me such comfort knowing he's with me. I know he's with me after you telling me all those things because I did. I took him out. I wrapped him in a blue blanket. I buried him in my garden and I put a rose on the top of his. And I said, I bet you it's growing well, isn't it? Because they always do. And he said, Sonia, I've never had a rose grow like it. 